Hey guys, what is up? This is James from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'm going to show you how you can use ruler and guides in Adobe Premiere Pro. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have opened Adobe Premiere Pro. Suppose you want to make a TikTok video, right? If you want to make a TikTok video or YouTube Shorts or Facebook Reels, then you need to make vertical video, right? So let's make a vertical sequence in the project panel. And if I right click, then I can make a new sequence. And from here, I will change the sequence settings. I'll make the frame horizontal size is 1080 and i'll make the vertical one is 1920 so this is the proper size for tiktoks or reels right if i click ok i'll see here is the sequence if you're watching tiktoks or shorts or reels then you'll see a lot of people like to use text right so if you use the text here in the bottom section it will be cut up because if i show you uh, i have already made a screenshot so this is a screenshot because if I show you here, you can see this is the TikTok browsing section, right? And here in the bottom section, there is a lot of text. And in the right hand side, you will see UI elements, right? So you need to avoid those space so that you don't put any text or important things on that space for a video, right? So how you can do that? You have to use a ruler, right? So first take this reference image here on our sequence. And from here, you can make your ruler or guides, right? You can select the image and then you can resize it maybe this much and from here you can make your guides so how you can enable ruler right here you can see on my program panel there is a ruler right how you can enable that if you click here on the program panel and then if you press ctrl and r it will enable or disable the ruler right if i again press ctrl and r it will enable the ruler and from here you can just click and drag to make any guides right you can just click and drag this to make guides here on your program panel to delete any guides you can just click and drag it here so that it will disappear right or you can just make a new guide and to delete it you can go to view and from here you can clear the guides so that the guides will be cleared up for you right so here the guides have been set as a percentage if i want to place any guides it will follow the percentage method right to change it you can just right click here on the ruler section and there you can change it to pixel or percentage i like to use percent suppose you want to place a guide at the middle of your video frame how you can do that you can right click here and then you can click add guides and from here you can add any guides right so i will just uh, make a guide maybe 50 percent so that it will place at the middle of my video frame and from here you can change it to percent and then you can change the orientation do you want to make a horizontal or vertical if i select horizontal it will make a horizontal guide if i select it vertical it will make a vertical guide so i'll just select horizontal and from here you can select top or bottom it doesn't matter because i have selected 50 percent the mark if i now click ok then you can see there is a guide here again if i want to make a vertical guide then i have to right click here then add guides and from here i have to select vertical and it will make it vertical guide so that's a very easy thing now suppose i want to place a image or any essential graphics template here on top of my video right so if i bring any reference image for that uh, i just want to use this arrow i'm just clicking and dragging it here to input it and now if i place it here you can see here is the arrow right now i can change the size of this arrow suppose i want to place this arrow now let's make a new guide again i will make a new guide here and suppose i want to place this arrow here on this section so if i want to place it here if i just click and drag it just like that it will not snap with the guides right so you can actually enable snapping for the guides so that when you are moving any elements here on your video then it will snap to the guide so to enable it you have to go to view and from here you have to enable snapping right if i enable snap in program monitor then if i just click and drag it you can see the arrow is snapping to the guide right it will make the editing experience so much easier you'll be able to place anything on your video right just like that so that's the thing that is the process that you can follow to use ruler and cut and it is actually very useful if you want to make your video look very professional and if you want to follow the rules Supp suppose you want to make a tiktok or reels then you can just easily make a section where you don't want to put anything then you can follow that section right so that will help you to edit your video more efficiently and more professionally so that's it that is how you can use ruler and guides in adobe premiere pro to make your editing process much easier i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you know this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more videos just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye